My name is Natalie. I am 28 years old and I work as a freelancer. I met my husband when I was still working at my company. He fell in love with me at first sight because of our business relationship. He said, I like your face. Well, I can't say I wasn't flattered, so I took him up on his offer. That is how our relationship started. My husband was very kind to me when we were dating and always tried to please me. Then, right before we got married, I quit my job. I had been busy in the company all my life, so I turned to freelancing, which I had always longed to do. Well, I learned later that freelancers are busy too. I thought that freelancing from home would be better for me because I would be able to watch over my child and keep them close by my side when he or she was born. But my mother-in-law didn't seem very amused with the idea. She complained about the fact that I never worked outside the home. Every time I went back to my in-law's house, she would ignore me. But my father-in-law, Alex, he was on my side. You have to be a very capable person to earn money from home, Natalie. You must be very talented. You graduated from a good university and worked for a major company when you entered the workforce. Even say that it's lazy of her to stay at home all the time while I'm still working part-time. Well, I wouldn't say that. You work hard, don't you, Natalie? Of course. I mean, I don't know if I'm the best or not, but I'm doing the best that I can. Hmm, what is that supposed to mean? Apparently, my mother-in-law was offended by his praise of me. My mother-in-law was scowling. My husband, who was standing beside her, was absorbed in playing a game on his smartphone the whole time. Why did you take a lazy person like this, Natalie, as your wife? Well, what can I say? I like her face, and she can do the housework well, too. Is that so? But I don't think she is that beautiful. Well, I thought I'd have to settle for an ugly woman because no one would ever look at me like that. Oh, wow, Derek. You could have gotten a super beautiful woman, couldn't he? Well, she earns a lot of money even working from home. Oh, if she is making that much money, then I'll ask her to buy me a new bag. While my husband and mother-in-law were talking about this, my father-in-law became angry. What have you been saying all this time? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I don't know what's so good about a woman like Natalie. I have a high opinion of Natalie, so don't look at me. No, you don't. You won't even stand up for her. Do you enjoy listening to others talk down about her? I'm so mad at you, Natalie. You don't have to listen to them. Yes, thank you. You can get a divorce if you want. You don't even have kids yet. What? What are you talking about? If you divorce, there will be bad rumors about you. You guys only think about yourselves. Enough. My father-in-law yelled and marched to the study angrily. My husband and his mother kept chatting back and forth, ignoring me. I was thinking in my heart that I wanted to go back to my parents' house as soon as possible. One day I decided to tell my husband what was on my mind. Look, I'm not going to your parents' house to be ignored. She's not ignoring you. What are you being paranoid about? She is. Your mother-in-law is always complaining about my work, and she's always complaining to you about me. Are you saying you don't respect your husband's parents? That's right. Well, I don't respect your mother, just my father-in-law. Huh. Your father is always on my side, but you and your mother-in-law are always talking down about me. That's not true. You are delusional. At this point, I was ready to divorce him. I was even prepared to return to my parents' home at any time. When my husband realized that, he said, I won't allow you to divorce me. I won't let you go back to your parents' house. He yelled at me. It seems to me that he has no respect for me, so why doesn't he want to divorce me? If you think you love a more beautiful woman, then let's get a divorce. When my mother-in-law complains about me all the time, you don't just cover for her, you go along with her. It was a slow day at work one day, so I went to City Hall to get my divorce papers. I immediately went home, filled out my section, and called my parents. My parents were furious to learn that my husband and mother-in-law had said such things about me. I didn't think you were this kind of man. I didn't let her marry you to be snubbed, they said in a strong tone. When my husband came home from work, I showed him the divorce papers. I told him to fill it out quickly because I wanted a divorce immediately. Hey, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? Are you hysterical? What? 
What are you talking about? I don't know why I'm with you. I care about you. All I ever do is think about you, Natalie. All I could say was, You're lying. Because in fact my husband is cheating on me. I only realized it recently. I was brushing my teeth when I noticed he left his phone in the dressing room. I didn't want to see it, but I happened to see a message. I want to make out with you again. Your kiss was so good, it made me feel like a god, it said. To be honest, it was so creepy that I was really turned off by it. If I forwarded those messages to my phone, I would be exposed. So I took a picture of the message and airdropped it to my phone. Then, I used a credit agency to investigate my husband's behavior. It seemed that my husband was seeing a young girl at work, and it wasn't just one. He was involved with several girls. He has a type, under 30, tall, and pretty in the face. He had a rotten heart. I almost lost my temper, but I thought, if I were to try giving him divorce papers now, he'll just ignore them again. So, I decided to go back to my parents' house to try to mediate the divorce. One Saturday, my husband suggested that we go to my in-law's house again. My mother-in-law just ignores me anyway, and I don't want to go. My mom wants me to come over today. Oh, really? Well, don't be like that. Just get ready. I love getting ready just to be ignored. Nobody's ignoring you. It's all in your head. At least I have your father to talk to. He's very kind. What? That sounds like you're making my mom out to be a bad person. Well, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. I remember that my father-in-law had recently expressed an interest in blogging, so I took my laptop with me. He's not even 60, and he still seems to be unfamiliar with the idea of how to create and write a blog. If I bring my laptop, maybe I can do my work and even teach my father-in-law about blogging. When we arrived at my in-law's house, my mother-in-law gave my husband a hug and offered him tea. Well, there was no tea for me. I laughed to myself because she was so obviously disgusted with me. Wow, so this is how you make a blog? Yes, it's easier than you think. I thought it would be more difficult. Is tagging very difficult? Well, it's easy once you get used to it. Oh, Natalie, I'm sorry for asking you all about your blog when you have work to do. No, no, it's fine. He brought his own laptop computer and seemed to be trying to get started creating his blog right away. I went on with my work while watching him. My mother-in-law looked at me sideways and said, I can do that kind of thing myself. It's just a simple job of typing. That was sarcasm if I ever heard it. When I responded, she ignored me again, so I said sarcastically, No need to be rude. After that, my husband kept insisting again and again we go to his parents' house. I really don't want to go. It's my mother's birthday today. Oh yeah, what's the matter with you? Let's go. I'm not going. What? I told you I'm not going. Your father's nice, but I don't want your mother to be sarcastic with me or ignore me at every turn. What the hell? You're really out of your mind. You're the one who's crazy. What's the matter with you? You're a really lousy wife. You're the one who should go away. My husband suddenly became angry and left the house snarling. I hurriedly packed my belongings into my overnight bag. My husband wanted to get the hell out of there and left for his parents' house. Up until now, he had always interfered with my attempts to return to my parents' house, so this was my chance to leave. Does he not care about me, but does it want to get divorced because it would be a shame on his family? Or does he feel guilty because of the affair? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get a huge alimony payment out of him. When I returned home, my parents told me that they would never let me see my in-laws again. Then, when I told them that my husband was cheating on me, they got angry and turned red. I can't believe he was such a lousy man, they cursed. After a while, my husband came home and called me. Hey, where are you? Where are you? And why is your stuff missing? Oh, I'm not going home anymore. I'm at my parents' house. What? What are you talking about? Are you stupid going back to your parents' house? Oh, you're the one who's stupid. Not only do you look down on me, you're cheating on me too. Well, you thought you were a good kisser, huh? I had to pretend all these years. But ever since the first time I kissed you, I thought you were a lousy kisser. Why would you say that? I don't care. 
Oh, that's disgusting. I'm divorcing you already. Wait, if you do that, you'll ruin my reputation. You're so full of yourself, aren't you? A few hours after I hung up the phone, my husband arrived with my in-laws. When my mother-in-law was about to say something, Alex said to my father, Sir, I'm really sorry for everything we've done. I'm sorry I couldn't help Natalie further. Hey, who do you think you are? I can't believe how stupid my wife and son have been. Stop it! Actually, I've been wanting a divorce from my wife, too, and you gave me the push I needed. What? That my wife has been having an affair with the manager of the store where she worked part-time. When Alex, my father-in-law, found out about it recently, he was wondering when he was going to divorce her. My mother-in-law was in tears, begging me not to divorce her son, but then my husband and mother-in-law started to lose their tempers. They were both stunned, and my parents were also aghast. After that, my husband and I divorced. Then, Alex, my father-in-law, divorced my mother-in-law. My ex-husband and my mother-in-law were both cheating on their spouses, so they were both charged a lot of alimony. My mother-in-law is working hard for the alimony, taking more part-time jobs like when she was young. My ex-husband resigned from his job and is now looking for work. My ex-husband and mother-in-law are living together in a studio apartment. They seem to be a good match. I am in the process of looking for a good place to live while living at my parents' house. If I can find true love, I'm hopeful about getting married again.